Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Hanks with the Center for Autism Services and Transition here at the Ohio State Wexner Medical Center. The following is an educational video for patients with autism to help you learn the steps involved in a blood draw. Please view this video as many times as you'd like, and we hope it will assist you with gaining confidence and with your health care. Please feel free to share this video with your doctor at your next visit. Visit our website for tip sheets and, and for more information. When scheduling the blood draw appointment, you can ask for a prescription for numbing cream. This may help to numb the area where the needle will be inserted. Review the process for applying the cream and cover two areas so you have a second area prepared in case the first blood draw site is not successful. Make sure to apply the numbing cream one hour before the appointment. During your blood draw appointment, a small amount of blood will be removed for testing. During the procedure, a tourniquet will be used on your arm to help find the best vein for the blood draw. The tourniquet is stretchy and may feel tight. You can practice using a tourniquet during appointments. If you do practice, never leave the tourniquet on for more than one minute. After the tourniquet is on your arm, the nurse will use her finger to locate a vein. This is where the needle will go in. This area is also where you may have used the numbing cream. Once the nurse finds the vein, the tourniquet comes off and she will get ready for the next step. If you need a break, now is a good time to ask for one. The nurse will use gloves, needles, and other supplies during your blood draw. Ask to see or touch any items the nurse is using. You may want to hold a fidget or stress ball during this time and feel free to listen to music or watch something on your phone or tablet. The blood will be collected into color-coded tubes using long, clear tubing that the nurse will assemble. One end of the tubing will contain a needle that will be inserted into the vein in your arm. To start the process, the nurse will pull the tourniquet on your arm and then clean the area around your vein with an alcohol wipe. Next, she will insert the needle into your vein. Let the nurse know when you are ready for the needle. Give the nurse the thumbs up when you are ready. Ideas that may help during the blood draw are to count, hold the hand of a parent or support team member, or anything else that makes you comfortable. You will need to sit still during the procedure, and you can have a parent or nurse help to support your arm during the procedure. Remember, this will only last for a short time. The nurse may fill one, two, or even three tubes with blood. You can watch the process or look away, whatever you are comfortable with. Once the tubes are filled, the tourniquet will come off and the nurse will put a cotton ball and band-aid on your arm. For more blood draw tips and information, make sure you visit the website.